best of the Super Juniors Day 3 review. As Takamichinoku versus Jonathan Gresham is the first of the five block A matches here. As Jonathan Gresham puts him in a cradle, Taka kicks out at two. Backslide from Gresham, Taka again kicks out. And uh, Gresham locks in Octopus Drex and makes him tap out. Fun little match. Gresham gets the first one in his best Super Juniors. Not a whole lot of notes for me here. As uh, just a lot of, you know, chain wrestling, a lot of grappling. But, uh, you know, I enjoyed it. It's a fun little match, to, uh, to say the least. As Tiger Mask 4 versus Yoshinibu Kanemaru is the second match. Kenemar brings a mask of Tiger Mask 4 to the ring for his entrance. Tiger Mask 4 is pissed when he sees it. Starts the match off before the bell rings. Single leg like Boston grab from Kanemaru. Top rope arm drag that almost ends very badly for Tiger Mask 4. Holy shit. I thought was going to, like, land on his head. And uh, they both are going to fall off before it even happened. Like, I was very, very, very scared of what was going to happen there. Tombstone from Tiger Mask 4 into a Tiger Driver. What the fuck? And Kenamaro kicks out. Goes for the Super Tiger Driver. Kenamaro fights him off. Metal Rope DDT. Tiger Mask 4 kicks out. Figure for a leg lock. Tiger Mask 4 doesn't tap. Kenamaro misses the Top Rope Moonsault. Tiger Mask 4 hits a leg layer. It, holy shit. Just bust that out of nowhere. Goes for the Tiger Suplex. Kenamaro kicks him in the dick. Kenamaro tries to lock in a figure four leg lock. Tiger Mask counters it with a roll up and he gets the win. A post match, Kenamaro attacks Tiger Mask four and he unmasks him. Young boys, you know, uh, Ren and Rita and uh, Shoto Yumina come in and you know cover him up before anybody sees his revealed face. As a, a good little match from Kenamaro and Tiger Mask four. Again, you know those two, the chemistry there, they 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 got it, they got it, that's for sure. As uh, Titan versus Shingo. The next match, Titan hits a run on the outside. Tope Suicida from Titan. Rolls Shingo back into the ring. Doesn't hook the leg and just, you know, Shingo kicks out at two. Titan Matrix spots the Lariat, you know, ducks it. Hits the springboard body splash on Shingo who kicks out. Death Valley Driver from Shingo. Titan counters the, the Gory Bomb with a roll-up. Shingo rolls through it. Dragon Screw Leg Whip from Titan and just stretches the fuck out of Shingo. Who just, you know, barely gets out of it after, uh... That was going to tab. Gory Bomb from Shingo. Titan kicks out at two. Pumping Bomb and followed by the last Falconry. And Shingo wins. Two straight wins for Shingo. Fuck yeah. Shingo. It's Taiji Ishimori versus Marty Skrull. Ishimori counters the chicken wing into a cross face. Skrull gets to the ropes. Triangle Moonsault from Ishimori. Tornado DDT from Marty Skrull. Skrull stomping on the hand of Marty Skrull. You know, setting up for that finger break spot. Ishimori goes for the back handspring elbow. Uh, Skrull catches him with a half Nelson suplex, follows up with a power bomb with a pin, and Ishimori kicks out. Both men trade pin spots. Double knees in the corner from Ishimori. Skrull kicks out. Backhand spring overhead kick from Ishimori. Both men again, they trade some strikes. Luckily, uh, Ishimori doesn't drop him during the reversals of, into a tombstone spot. He just runs into the ropes and kind of drops to his knees first real quick before he ends up dumping Skrull in his head. That would have been fucking terrible. Chicken wing from Skrull. Ishimori gets out of it. Bloody cross. And Taiji Ishimori gets the win. 2-0 and start for Taiji Ishimori. You know, beating uh, the champion, Dragon Lee, and then beating uh, Marty Skrull here in the co-main cool event. Now the main event. And uh, my match of the night, Dragon Lee versus Sho. Holy fuck. This was awesome. Hot start to this one. Both men just raining down shots for like a solid minute. Powerbomb on the apron from show. Holy fucking shit. Dragon Lee hits maybe one of the best Tobey Suicide I've ever seen in my life. Like a speeding bullet. Just destroy show with it. It was fucking awesome. Jushin Liger lost his fucking mind on commentary when this happened. It was so good. Oh my god. Show hits a dropkick on Dragon Lee. Dragon Lee runs into a lariat. German suplex with a bridge. Dragon Lee kicks out. Show still has his arms locked around him. After three, Dragon Lee just gets the ropes and Show breaks it up. Fujiwara armbar from Dragon Lee. Corner double foot stomp. Show kicks out at two. Backcracker to a cross armbar from Sho. A poison rana from Dragon Lee. Runs into a lariat from Sho. Sho runs off the ropes and hits just a murders him with the lariat. A back suplex lung blower. Followed by a power bomb lung, bro lung blower from Sho. Dragon Lee kicks out a fucking 2.99. What a kick out there. That was a really good false finish. PK kick from Dragon Lee. Dead left power bomb out of the armbar. Dragon Lee just pulls down the knee pads and does a running knee on the exposed knee. Show kicks out. And Orange Crush Bomb. And Dragon Lee gets the win. 
What a goddamn match. Match of the night for sure. I don't think it's even a question at this point. Another great match from show as well. Even at, at, at 0 2 record. Top two matches, uh, you know, two matches of the night back to back for him. With obviously the show and Shingo match is going to be. I mean, that's contention for being like one of the best junior matches of the year. As well as, you know, the best, best Super Juniors match of this tour. Great stuff there. Uh, that will do it for my review of day three of the best Super Juniors. Hope you all enjoyed the show. And take care.